Hello, my family, I greet you. Welcome to another one here on Truth and Love the Show. So concerning the United States elections. Please give a big, loud Texas welcome to the next president of the United States, Vice President Kamala Harris. I will take historic action to defeat the toxic poison of gender ideology and reaffirm that God created two genders, male and female. <laughs> Very interesting. That shows you all you need to know right there. So we've got prophetic voices coming out to say this. So I'll just start off with uh, Brandon Biggs and then we'll move on to Prophet Osu Bemba and then to Prophet Angel. I, I have a warning, a warning from the Lord to warn you all about something that he showed me in the spirit. Very, very serious thing. Um, he showed me about the elections and he showed me that um, there was key states of corruption there's key states that will have corruption. And he talked to me about um, the House of Representatives. And he talked to me about the Senate. And he talked about the presidency. And But he was focused in my prayers about um, the, the Senate. And how important it will be for us to win the Senate. He showed that we would take the House by uh, majority. Which I'm not... I'm not real educated when it comes to politics and stuff, what that means. But I'm just telling you the words that he used. And he said, you will have the house by majority. Okay? You will have the presidency. But, but the battle in the spirit realm, my son, is the Senate. For this is a two-seat, two two-seat gap. There's a, a two-seat-like um, victory that you're after. They, there's two seats in, in limbo, basically. Okay? And he was talking to me about Nevada, Arizona. And he said, you must pray for Ted Cruz. I'm sorry. Uh, me and you have been a, a, a draw my attention to America for uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, election. America. Now, now, somebody drew my attention to um, America's election, pending election, um, a few days from today. Now, I saw for Mukaya, a radical such a me say, or baby, they take it over from Joe Biden. I believe some Mukaya is saying. Now, if you recall, I I said something about what the Lord had told me that a certain woman would take over from Joe Biden. Now, Obani is very powerful. And that woman is very powerful. Now, me who said, a dragon, so red dragon. Now, some time ago, I said I had seen that she was seated on a red dragon. Ampa, prophetic word no is Now, the prophetic word indeed came to pass. Emma Obano take over from Joe Biden. Obano is a flag bearer. Indeed, a woman has taken over from Joe Biden. That woman is the flag bearer. Now, still, Obani is powerful. Now, the woman is still very powerful. Trump, now, if you remember, not so long ago, I had said that if Trump and his people who pray for him do not intensify prayer, I had seen that certain spirits had installed the woman on the presidential seat. If you recall, I believe some guys are saying. I believe you recall not so long ago, right? Now, I'm saying Asimbia, make our dem a quite now it seems that everything I say in church goes viral. And Ampa, lots of people get to hear of it. As of I am more I'm a Trump. In, in fact, some men of God have come together and have interceded very strongly for Trump. Samukaya 2020, I'm a say, but every Trump on some and to a loose election. I believe that will be our demo. Okay. Now, if you recall, I said in 2020 that a mighty angel had taken 
a key from Trump and because of that he will lose the election. I don't know if you recall that, do you? Don't you, do you recall? Openibia me nimno ene me ameba sofu bi. Ene Paula White e kasa in true say Paula White o bomb pen or say of free angels of free Africa. Na nya ba bia na e ga na he ya. Because of the enemy na me so kai ni ti. And so um a certain great man and one of my sons who is a man of God had a conversation with Paula White and when Paula White was praying she said that she also invokes the angels in Africa in fact she was talking about Ghana in fact in fact sa so for no koso bompa ye no mani bre na Trump na so so bie na koma mu yie na mpa e bokoso a e wiem bedane ama Trump now if they continue to intercede very strongly and Trump opens his heart to the Lord, there will be an overturn in the spiritual realm in Trump's favor. Muntia Samwe, media for Muntia, ne, eh, central for a man for man one could see bonnet. Me patcho, main shan comes at Trump, a bewini, and a main shan comes, eh, or ban as a bewini, me say. Sir Trump, my own home empire, soon soon be a pedo or ban or the better Nakunyanusu. Now, what I've not, please listen to me very carefully and don't misquote me. I am not saying Trump will win the election, neither am I saying the woman will also win the election. What I'm saying is that if Trump does not intensify his prayer and intercession, I have seen spiritually that certain spirits have lifted the woman and they will put her on the seat. If they do not intensify prayer. So my family, this is now getting very, very interesting. So I actually remember what Prophet Angel said when he actually said, is at that time if elections were to be held, Kamala Harris will win. And he also went on to say Kamala Harris shouldn't be underestimated. And he also went on to pray a prayer, saying that this is a prayer for the establishment of Donald Trump. What could all this mean? Let me just show you all the clips. The elections were gonna be held today, it will be Kamala Harris. They chose whatever they wanted. Mm. Mm. Okay. So the scripture that God gave me, mm. clearly gave me and said, this is a vision. Look at it. This is America for you. Wow. Mm. They've chosen a different path. Wow. Hey. Mm. We are ready for the rapture. But the Bible says God is not evil. Mm. And he's not slow. Mm. concerning his promises yes. but he wills that every man repents mm. that means there are some presidents you're going to put in power mm. like kamala harris mm. who quicken the coming of the lord hey. before people really get the time to be saved wow. Wow. Mm. everyone who is watching me right now in america you have the power to actually shift you have the I, I did not say god gave me this that you have the power to do so mm. i read the scripture that he gave me yes sir mm. Hear me when I'm telling you that this is speeding up the coming of the Antichrist. Some of you watching me right now mm. are ready to vote mm. a Satanist in the place. Mm. What was happening at the time mm. when the days of Noah came in? They were corrupt. Yes, mm. sir. Notice one thing you won't hear a lot about when it comes to the ark of Noah. Mm. Children. Mm. we hear a lot about taking women yes. marrying mm. but children we're not hearing mm. Mm. because it is at the time every time when god comes to destroy a nation mm. is when they have killed children hey. mm. and there is no time like this one where abortion has been given a lot of power the first rally that kamala did abortion and trump and freedom key moments from Kamala Harris' first rally speech. She needed to be the poster girl for abortion. Mm. Imagine your whole campaign is on abortion. Mm. Research from the book of Genesis, you realize that every time calamity comes, mm. before calamity, the people kill the children. Mm. Wow. 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 But we are also going to pray for America, mm. especially for Donald Trump. Mm. Mm. See, at the time, mm -hmm. at the time when Stephen died, mm. the church had not prayed. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scripture. And then the apostle was arrested mm -hmm. and they had learned 
from what happened mm. to Stephen. Mm. So they said, no, 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 no. We can't remain docile like what we did. Mm. We have an ability to change things. Mm. Mm. So we're going to shift things. Yes, Over 10 legislations. Yes, sir. Over 10 Amen. Mm. rules and judgments that the devil has put so, so, so that we shorten, we remove mm. the injunction the devil has put in mm. so that the delay, the delay, the coming of the Son of Man mm. ah, be upon us so that at least we have a few people to win to Christ. Yes, sir. And as for America, this moment here, I want you all to be up. We want to establish Donald Trump now. Begin to pray. Yes. Establish the will of the Lord and nations. Right right that's the last thing that prophet angel actually said and he will be updating us soon so what do you make of this you just tell me what you think in the comments below like share comment and subscribe don't forget to pray for the nation of the united states of america you know because the election outcome over there it's very key for what is going to be happening you know in the entire world like share comment and subscribe god bless you